words. Yeah, we're going to nine words. This is going to be long. But these nine words mess with people in such a cruel cool way that you can slip in your benefits and the objections and take care of stuff. And it's amazing. Nine words, frozen brains, that are hanging on every word. How many people here believe that's possible now? Yeah. 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 It, things are easy to believe after we have learned how to know, right? So for your new distributor that have never done this, it's hard for them to believe it's going to be successful, isn't it? So we can take them out and show them some stuff. Now. And I don't take them out to say, hey, 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 here's how you get a distributor. I say, here's how you talk to people. So we're always going to have a positive experience. They learn how they can talk to people, rejection-free, and it may be their time or not. I say, that's not our problem. It's their problem. All we want to do is talk to them in a way that they hear our message. So how many people already learned nine words that totally just freeze their mind so they hear our message? <coughs> this is the key for, for the skill for icebreaker. Now, I have some good news and some bad news. <coughs> oh. I have some good news and some bad news. That's roughly how many words in Australian? <laughs> All right, so gra grab this. Phone rings. Your child calls you up and says, Mom, Dad, I have some good news and some bad news. Right. There's two types of people in the world, those who can write this down as fast as I can talk, and those have no idea how we're going to remember this. <laughs> so are you ready? As yeah. quick as you can, turn to your partner and do a couple, two types of people in the world as fast as you can so we can move on to some more. Let's make those people, what decision do you think they make in the back of their mind? Oh, am I part of most people? I'm part of less people. How many people are part of less people? I must be part of most people. I do what most people do. Most people get excited about it. I don't know if people that person. Yeah. <laughs> so just say most people. Most people hate their job. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah I'm really negative about that right now. Let me know what to say next, right? Or most people get the cleanser, also get the moisturizer. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Most people start with this path. Most people get the 5,000 oil starter kit. I believe these sequences of words are possible. Yeah. Now, I got a good story. There's a pattern here, isn't there? How many people here would feel comfortable saying, I got a good story? Now, when you say that, what's happening to the other person's mind? Oh, 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 oh. Come with the story, come with the story. <laughs> now, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, they have no chance. This is probably illegal. When you say, I got a good story, here's what happens. Inside their mind, there are special little compartments. Before the written word, we use stories to pass on information from one generation to another. So we have special little boxes inside of our mind that we can remember stories with. How many people here can remember a story from age five? They can't remember a date for a history exam 15 minutes later. So you can put a story inside their mind. And it'll eat out the inside of the brain until they do something about it. Before you get too intimidated, the 21 words are really seven words three times. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, they have to make it so Americans can do it. Now, are we ready? Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the presentation, they said this. Sounds good, but I need to know more. Listen to this closely. Sounds good, but I need to know more. Does that sound vaguely like, tell me everything you've ever learned about the history of oils in the universe? <laughs> well, obviously I misinterpreted it. And I give them a long hour and a half presentation while the eyes roll to the back of their head. 
<laughs> and, and you and I don't want to give long presentations, right? We don't want to say, well, let me hand you the chair, take your eyelids open, let you begin. <laughs> Come on, I can't be the only one that's done that. <laughs> so what we need to do is be polite. People are busy. They want to get on with the line. So here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Some people will want to know about the history of oils, right? Some people want to know about your testing. Some people want to know about the background of the company. Some people want to know about the compensation plan. Some people might want to know about the rewards program. And, but not everybody wants to know everything, unless they're an engineer. But how are we going to know what they want to know? Awesome. Oh, brilliant. OK, so let's do this. Let's ask them. Are you ready? Yes. First seven words. What would you like to know first? Now, these are magical words. When somebody says, well, it sounds good, but I need to know more, you're just going to say, what? What do you like to know first? And they will actually tell you what they want to know first. You don't even have to guess. How cool is that? So all you have to do is ask them what they want to know first, and they'll tell you exactly what they want to know first. And we're going to answer as short as humanly possible, no additional information because it causes additional confusion and people are rushed for time always. <coughs> that's what you like to know first. How many people here think that sounds reasonable and polite? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, here's the real reason we ask it. You know, sometimes people are mean. How many people here have a mean relative? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting next to you. Now, <laughs> I go to visit my uncle, and he's cigar smoking, used car salesman, and he goes, <laughs> Okay, Sonny, give me your best sales pitch. <laughs> Anybody here pick up the sales tension? <laughs> so here's what I'm going to say to my uncle. So, what do you like to know first? He goes, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but, but you're letting me talk. You're not a salesman. You're actually letting me talk, not some stupid monologue. Well, let me tell you what I want to know first, because this one, I'm... and all the sales tension has gone away. All the negativity has gone away. And all of a sudden, we're in a quality conversation with somebody talking like a real person to a real person. So how many people here could learn how to say, what would you like to know first? <laughs> and that's a great way to start a presentation, and nobody's upset. As a matter of fact, they're thrilled that we can talk to them that way. Now, when you say what you'd like to know first, you're going to answer as short as humanly possible. So if I ask you the question, what would you like to know first, you would say, maybe, what's the name of your company? And what would the answer be? <laughs> that would be the correct answer. I'll let me give you the correct answer. <laughs> so, what's the name of your company? And you answer, Young yeah, Levy. It's an international company in 33 countries. Oh, I don't even have a passport. And they, they have over 500 someone. Oh, I can't count that one. And uh, they have this cruise coming up. Oh, we get seasick. And all the additional information <laughs> causes all these problems. We've got to do all this thinking. So just stay with the point. Talk about what they want to talk about, not what we want to push down their throat. <laughs> so they say, what's the name of the company? What's the correct answer? And then you will immediately say the next seven words of your presentation. <laughs> what would you like to know? Yes. Brilliant. How do you think this out? <laughs> and you'll just say, what would you like to know next? Over and over and over again until they run out of questions. Cool. The average human guesses out at two questions. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Unless you meet an accountant or an engineer, then just poke out an eye and go home. <laughs> but it's just a conversation. They don't know anything about the business. They probably have one or two questions. That's about it. So would you like to see the type of questions you might be asked? So I will give you some typical ones that you'll see often and some ways of answering. So just sit back and relax. All we're doing is just using common sense which, of course, we gave up when we signed that application. But we start, you know, we go crazy on people. So let's do some questions. So uh, I might say, so where's the company located, huh? And you would say? Newtown. All right, all right. So uh, and, then a, and then you'd say, what would you like to know next? I'd say, well, 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 well. Are the products any good? Do people like them? And you would say? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Lots of people like them. What do you like to know next? You know, could you make a lot of money with this business? And you would say, sure. yes. yeah, quite a few people make money. Yeah. What do you like to know next? 
questions already. Uh, uh, um, uh, does the oil come in glass bottles? Yes. So we ought to go next. <laughs> well, I mean, how does the compensation plan work? Well, if you have a lot of people using the oils, you're going to make a lot of money. If you have fewer, you make less. <laughs> So what would you like to know next? <laughs> Clipped inside here, I think. Uh, well, well, uh, on the frankincense oil at 32 degrees centigrade, does the D alpha to call for rotate 90 degrees or not? I don't know, that's covered in training. What would you like to know next? <laughs> I mean, that might expect this to be a human Wikipedia. Uh, uh, uh. Well, uh, well, how much does it cost to get started then, huh? $249. Not like opening a store in the mall. What would you like to know next? Oh, well, how much money have you made so far, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm just starting the business. It'll take about six months, I'll make some good money, and I'm going on a cruise. I just wanted to know if you want to join with me so we can cruise together or if you want me to send a postcard to your home. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to know next? And pretty soon, they're out of questions. We can't even think of very many. We're in the business. And after they say, well, no more questions, we're going to say the next seven words, which are, what would you like to... Do next. How about everybody knows? Now, when you say everybody knows, what are people going to say? Nobody, part of everybody. Part of nobody. Nobody's part of nobody. It must be part of everybody. If everybody knows, this means I know. That word must be true. No further proof. <laughs> Because everybody knows essential oils are awesome. It must be true. What? Everybody knows peppermint gives you great breath. Oh, yeah. Guess so. Yeah. <coughs> and everybody knows we hate stuff and chemicals in our children's mouth twice a day. Oh, yeah, this is so awful. Terrible. <laughs> everybody knows the Australia weather dries out the skin. Oh, yeah. It forms canyons sometimes when it's wrinkles.